In this Haitian kitchen, we are connecting back to our roots with the Ghanaian jollof rice. Hey everyone, it's Merlene here with Savory Thoughts at SavoryThoughts.com. So in today's video, we are bringing it way back home with the Ghanaian jollof rice. It is cooked to perfection with the most delicious and tantalizing spices. So let us show you how to make it. Okay guys, so to begin, we are going to chop our onion. Once you're done chopping the onion, go ahead and set that aside. Next, we are moving along to peeling our garlic cloves. And for this, we will be using six garlic cloves to make the stew. Once you're done peeling your garlic cloves, go ahead and combine that in a bowl with the onions and wash your ingredients. Once you're done washing your ingredients, go ahead and transfer that to a high quality blender. And guys, the reason why we're using a high quality blender is because we want the ingredients to be as liquefied as possible. Go ahead and add in about a fourth cup of water and this will help us blend the ingredient. Go ahead and stir it around just to make sure that all of the ingredients are being blended properly. And also guys, we have the full recipe on our website at savorythoughts.com where we show you step-by-step -step photo guide on how to make this recipe perfectly. Next, we're going to add in our bell peppers. Now the bell peppers, you can use whichever color you'd like and it also helps to sweeten up the stew. Tomatoes have an acidic flavor, so the bell peppers help to tone it down. And if you're using canned tomatoes, be sure to drain the tomatoes first. You don't want all of that liquid in your stew because it would take longer for it to cook. Plus, making jollof rice can be a bit messy and you don't want all of the liquid to splash all over. Once you're done blending, go ahead and set that aside. In a large saucepan, go ahead and add in the oil. And for this, we are using one cup canola oil. Next, add in the onion mixture. And allow that to cook. You want your onions to cook for about five minutes and be sure to constantly stir. Guys, the thing about jollof rice, it requires a lot of love and a lot of patience. So, stirring is a must. Next, go ahead and add in the tomato paste. And for the tomato paste, we are using six ounce tomato paste. So, pretty much a small can. Once you're done, give it a stir as you do not want your ingredients to burn or stick to the bottom of the pan. Continue stirring to well combine. Next, go ahead and add in your seasoning. And for this, we are adding in ginger powder, curry powder, salt, and shrimp powder. Now the shrimp powder is optional. However, it does enhance the flavor of the dish. Stir to well combine. 
Now add in your blended tomato mixture. Continue stirring to combine. And be sure that your temperature is a medium low heat. Go ahead and cover it halfway. Add in your bay leaves. Cover again to allow the tomatoes to cook. Now when the tomatoes are cooking, this process will take about 20 minutes, but be sure to continue stirring occasionally. As you see, with the covers, the tomatoes splashing everywhere. This is the reason why covering it is essential. Continue stirring because you do not want your tomatoes to stick to the bottom of the pan. Season as desired. Go ahead and cover it and allow it to cook for an additional 20 minutes. Now, as you see right now, we are removing about a cup full of the tomato mixture. And this is because it will, it's because we will use a tomato sauce to serve with the rice. Next, go ahead, add in one cup of water, followed by the jasmine rice. And guys, as always, be sure to wash your rice thoroughly before cooking it. Once you're done, go ahead and mix well to combine. And once you're done mixing, go ahead and cover the pan with the lid and allow it to cook. Now for this guys, we are using parchment paper and because we are making this in a large saucepan, we want the steam. The steam is what's going to cook your jollof rice. Um, unlike traditional rice, you do not need a lot of water because the tomato sauce is doing all of the job for you. We only added in one cup of water and that's only because we removed one cup of the sauce so we could serve it with the rice. Now the steam is what's going to cook your rice and exactly what you want for when making jollof rice, okay? So once you're done, go ahead and add in the parchment paper. Then you add the lid on, on top of the parchment paper to help the rice cook. And it's best that you cook your rice on medium low heat because you do not want it to burn. And that's it. So your jollof rice is ready for you to serve with your sauce. And you can also serve it with, with fried plantains or air fried plantains. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you join our community and our family and hit the notification bell as we post new videos often. Cheers.